Collaboration is hugely important. It's, we can't come into this with our own egos and with our own agendas. We have to meet each other uh, in a place where we're sharing the passion of where we want to go. Collaboration and patient safety is very important because it takes a team effort to make change happen. When we see the power of people working differently together, I think we've always had good relationships. We've always had respect for what each does. Certainly, in many cases, we've worked together, but not in a way that's had the impact that we've seen happen through this consortium and a realization then of what the potential is. We hear so many times about, here's a framework for that, or here's a national strategy for something else. I really like the idea of action. And that's what Canadians are looking for. They're looking for action and patient-centered action. How can you not be excited to contribute to patient safety? At the end of the day, we're all patients. We all have loved ones uh, who need to experience good health and good experiences in, in the healthcare setting. The biggest learning um, about large-scale change is keeping the momentum going. One person can make a powerful change to the system, and yet we can't do it alone. I think large-scale change is created when a group of dedicated people get together and address a gap in the healthcare system, especially when it comes to patient safety. This is complex work and that involves highly committed people, but I think there's also a growing sense of frustration. We couldn't do this work without patients. We absolutely couldn't because we as healthcare providers and leaders, we think we have the answers. We come to the table with lots of expertise and lots of wisdom, but when we really deeply listen to what our patients and families have to tell us along the way, we learn so much. One of the strengths of this work that's been done to date has been true partnership with patients and families. Patients are the staying power and they're also Engaging them in a way that is meaningful is potentially disruptive to the healthcare system because it's not used to doing that. But you have to give patients the tools in order for them to be engaged. You can't just pay lip service to it. Whatever the tool is or the plan, it is focused on patients and empowering patients. I think that going forward, that's where we need to set our priorities. Patients really are the team. They're, they're the basis of the team without the patient you don't have a team. Frankly, I hope that they keep pushing and not only to be partners, but actually to add that sense of impatience and intolerance for anything less than the safest care in the world. The biggest challenge is, um, is around keeping the momentum going. There's no resistance to patient safety. There's never any resistance. Some of the challenges in making change happen in healthcare is getting people to listen. Everybody can rally around keeping patients safe, but how to get there, what are the uh, various aspects of getting there, and then how do we get sustained uh, movement towards that. Uh, in, a, in a landscape that's always changing, the, the leaders change, the, the governments change, the people within the ministries change, people at all levels of healthcare delivery seem to change, but the constant is the patient. This is hard work, there's no question about that. It's a lot of time and attention, but it is so worth it in the end. excited because we get excited when we measure things and this offers us the opportunity to identify those things related to patient safety in the healthcare system across Canada that can be measured 
reported upon publicly and thereby improved through the practices in the regional health authorities, in the facilities themselves, and the clinical guidelines. And we feel really quite pleased our ability to provide a little bit of constructive insight into how that could happen. When you talk about education, you're really talking about the breadth of issues that need to be thought of and used in order to advance the, uh, the state of patient safety. So uh, my role has been to initiate and, and help with that discussion. We've actually had an aha moment with some of our other similar organizations where we realize the tools and the expertise are available. It's bringing them together that, so that we're no longer working in silos. We had a clinical pharmacist who was our lead who, who could actually, in the hospital setting, test out that five questions to ask. And that's the type of actions and collaboration that we need um, to move the whole safety agenda forward. I had the privilege to co-lead the uh, best practices uh, action uh, in surgical care safety. And, uh, you know, we took it to another level. As you know, we created together with patients and, and their families something uh, called Five Questions to Ask About Your Medications. And we've seen huge pickup of that. The proudest moment is just the I wouldn't call it a moment as opposed to an experience of working with um, a lot of really committed people and having some really challenging conversations about, so what are we actually talking about when we even say patient safety education? The work that we've done this year with the Collaborative and the Canadian Patient Safety Institute, uh, I'm just so impressed and it's really client-centered or patient-centered and it's about what happens in the home when we deliver care. Just wish that the, uh, this, uh, the work we've done, which is like creating a strong foundation, will not uh, end up on a, uh, in a book somewhere as a report. I think this is actually going to truly transform how we deliver healthcare in Canada. Um, what I'm sensing is we've been talking patient safety and lots of these different initiatives for years. Now I'm sensing that we're, we're tired of just talking about it and we want to get bold and we want to do things. At CPSI, we are determined that Canada will have the safest health care in the world. One of the things that I really like about CPSI right now is their new statement, patient safety right now. My despair from losing our son has turned to hope and has turned to trust that we are going to see this to the end so that every patient is safe.